Could the chores mom had you do growing up on that Saturday morning actually be one of the many important life lessons shaping you into an effective leader? International best-selling author Mark Villarreal's new book, Leadership Lessons from Mom, points to yes. And Mark joins us in studio with more on his new book. Mark, it's a pleasure, man. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Boy, do you still hear mom's voice as a child going through life? Every little lesson I hear her voice telling me or how she prompted me as well. When did you realize, Mark, that these little mile markers or these little guideposts was a perfect way to uh, write a book about this? Well, several ways. I would quote my mom a lot. I've been you know, running businesses for 35 years, but really teaching leadership. But then I started blogging after I wrote my second book, which is titled Short Guts Get You Lost, which was a lesson from my mom. But I started blogging and I would quote that my mom was the best leadership coach who chose to be a housewife. And people said, you need to write that story because then I realized everything that I was starting to label were great lessons, not only as growing up, but how they relate it to business. When did you realize all of those chores, all of those little, that advice that mom gave ever so gently, maybe not so gently, when did you realize that this was a, a positive for your life? Well, I would say that they started taking focus probably in the mid-teens mm -hmm. and into the young adulthood where you start realizing, my mom's really trying to shape my character, and that's what's real important to her. And uh, that means everything about, because the character is who you are as a person and how you'll carry the rest of your life. I love some of the examples that you provide in the book. Uh, ego is not your amigo. Tell us about that. Well, a lot of times, and especially as a young adult, you have a lot of pride. And my mom wanted me to be genuine as I got into management. She said, not all managers are leaders, but a leader will not put his ego first. He'll realize that he can learn from others and you'll grow better when you know you can learn from others. She thought humility, well, not thought, but believed and taught me that humility was a strength, not a weakness. And so she wanted me to lead with humility and she said, people will follow you better that way. You know, one of the lessons that my single mom told me growing up, always look a person in the eye and shake their hand and say hello first. And that is something that has been with me since I was a kid and it has really, I think, has done me well. Do you find that these lessons that she taught you as a kid, you're applying to real life, both professional and personal? Absolutely. There's 40 lessons in the book from young childhood to, to her death. And every single one of them I relate to business. And as you spoke there, look them in the eye. My mom would say, speak from the heart. Let people know who you are. Because I would question her that someone became a manager and they changed. And she said they shouldn't have. People will appreciate who you are. And when you are genuine, you can make hard decisions. And they understand that's as part of your leadership. My grandmother always told me, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are. And that is one of the lessons that your mom taught you. You wanted to run with the popular crowd. Right. Well, there's two different lessons that relate to that. One is successful people surround themselves with successful people. So she said, who you choose, people will be able to identify who you are. But there's another one where I tell the story that some kid wanted to hang around our clique. And I said something derogatory about him, which my mom said, Marcos Antonio, which means I was in trouble. If you had the middle name, you were seriously yeah, and, in trouble. And in Spanish. <laughs> so, but she said, are you worried about your reputation? And I thought, well, you get it. Yeah, mom, you understand. I'm worried about my reputation. She said, no, I want you to worry more about your character than your reputation. Your reputation may open doors, but your character will keep you there. So she was merely more concerned about the person that you may have hurt and it would have reflected poorly on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, how I, she even say um, everyone is a 10, so treat everyone with respect, whether I agreed with them, whether, and we teach that in business. Everyone's a 10, whether they succeed with us or not, and some of our best customers or people who refer us other employees are former employees that just weren't successful with us. How do moms and dads, what they read in this book, they might not have had that great advice that your mom shared with you, how do they apply that to their own lives, to their own children? Well, I would say first, listen to them, step back, and first realize that you do make an impact. And then when you wake up each day and just take it one day at a time, say, how can I make an impact today? Uh, my mom always had a statement is, uh, do something that matters today. And she would even ask me, what did you do that mattered today? And so if you think about each day and you go out and you do something that matters, then you've accomplished something. Where did those bits of advice come from? Did they Past, get passed on from her parents and from their parents? I believe so. Now, my mom's parents died when she was young, 
so both of them. So I didn't even know my grandparents on her side. Interesting. But uh, she would always talk about what her dad taught her and what her mom taught her. And they owned a little farm in Granger, Texas. And what they talked about, educate yourself and you're being watched and doing this. And so when I talked to my cousins, they're like, well, my dad said that or my mom said that as well. But, you know, so it was important for my mom to pass that along. Tell us, how has your mom changed you? Well, hopefully she's formed my character. Doesn't mean I haven't made my mistakes in life. But she, uh, one of her things was be a good ex example. So even when you make mistakes, she told me how you respond to that mistake or how you show yourself, how you correct yourself, I want you to be a good example. So at least that, she has me thinking about it all the time. I tell you, I think your mom, my mom, and my grandmother would get along famously. Mark, yeah, it's really absolutely. a pleasure. Good luck Thank with you. the book. The name of the book is Leadership Lessons from Mom. We're going to post a link where you can get a copy right there on our show website by early this afternoon, wtvr.com slash VTN.